Zoax.net, Lesson 0, What is HTML? When we enter a URL into a browser, like Zoax.net, the browser contacts the server that hosts the website to retrieve the HTML page at the URL. This HTML page that is returned is then interpreted by the browser that then displays the graphics and text associated with the HTML. Note that the HTML page that is returned is different than the content that is displayed because the browser interprets the HTML. For example, when this is displayed, the HTML page that the browser receives looks like this. For any given web page, it is possible to display the HTML code that generates the page by right-clicking and selecting View Page Source. This will open the text page that contains the HTML. To review, we enter a URL into the browser's address bar. This instructs the browser to send a notice to the website's URL. That request goes over the internet to arrive at the server that handles that request. The server sends back the HTML page to your computer, and the browser interprets the HTML to display the page. That is how a normal web page works on the internet. Since we are going to be writing our own HTML files, our URLs will just be the file names of the text files with the extension .html. In this case, the internet is not involved and there is not an external server to return the HTML page. Instead, when you double click on one of these text files, your computer will use your default browser to open the file and display the page like this. In this case, we will just be opening a local file rather than sending a request to another computer. HTML is the text that tells the browser what to display. To make a code file, we will open a text editor. There are many good ones out there, and I would recommend looking into getting a decent one, like TextPad or something similar. There are numerous text editors out there, and many are free. However, if you have nothing else, you can get by with Notepad for your first few code files. With our text editor open, we will enter our HTML like this, for example, and save the file with a .html extension. The extension tells the computer what kind of file this is and what program should be used to open it. With the file saved, we can double-click the file and open it in our default browser, like this, and we will be able to see our HTML page interpreted through the browser. If you want to see some more examples and try out some HTML code files on your own, you can look at the reference pages in our HTML section at zoax.net.